All right, so good morning, afternoon, or evening. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. This letter is a little interesting because it is the only letter out of about a thousand plus I have that was never opened. This one coming from the German side of things, October 8th, 1943. Uh, what you're hearing me read to you has only been read by myself and one other person. So hopefully you guys can enjoy. But without further ado, Werdo, October 8th, 1943. Dear Manfred, today I finally get around to answering your dear letter of September 29th, 1943. Please forgive me for keeping you waiting so long. I'm always very busy once here in the shop, and when I come home in the evening, there's still so much work to do. And the other times, Carly takes care of it. He always complains to me that I don't write enough to him although he gets mail from me a couple times a week. Do you have some the same concerns as he does, that you always come up short? How is it with your love? How and how did you spend your Sunday vacation back then? You've been pretty quiet lately. I thought I should at least congratulate you on your engagement. But you don't hear anything. Well, you will have enough chances in Desu. One can imagine the operation in a barracks town. With us, there is currently nothing new. Just the same thing every day, working again and again. Won't the war be over soon? An old fighter like you should know that, right? Finally, best wishes and all the best for you, Annalise. By the way, thanks for your letter. To send back, wait for a new copy. Annalise Kretschmar. Lanzerdorf B. So my apologies on the pronunciation. It's I'm I'm happy with the letter. I'm sad how it came out. The glue from 1943 did not separate even with a heat gun and sort of crusted on there. In the uh, razor blade I used to do my best to open it did not work the best either. But thankfully, none of the words or verbiage were damaged. Hopefully you guys enjoy this letter and have a good rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening. This is Chris signing off.